Well, it looks like President Biden is not the only one with artificial intelligence policies at the top of their mind. Governor Tony Evers Task Force on Workforce and Artificial Intelligence met for the first time today. Madison Rios has you covered on how the state plans on using artificial intelligence and examples of how it's already being used. Madison. CEO and Secretary of the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, Missy Hughes, told me several ways that Wisconsin is trying to implement artificial intelligence. Governor Tony Evers' task force on workforce and artificial intelligence, intelligence excuse me, is what drives the implementation of artificial intelligence in businesses. According to the Secretary of Wisconsin's Department of Workforce Development, Amy Pahachik, these developments are not to take away from employees, but to enhance the already existing workforce. This was a concern that, according to the Wisconsin Center for Manufacturing and Productivity, is not a huge fear for current employees due to the current difficulties caused by the worker shortage. Just last week, President Joe Biden named Wisconsin as a regional tech hub in biohealth. And from what Hughes tells me, the state is also leading the way in AI and implementing the technology in the biohealth industry through MRI scans. She mentioned several other uses as well. Hughes says, quote, I've seen AI in action at places like Rockwell Automation, in developing school curriculums, brainstorming ways to overcome the nursing shortage, and entrepreneurial uses in social work. Pahachik says, quote, in 2020, the state had seven, 770,000 claims pending in the unemployment insurance claims backlog, but with the use of an AI adjudicator, the backlogs were cleared overnight. Now that President Biden has issued safety protocols and best practices when using AI, the task force can begin to help form policies sending boundaries between the technology and humans.